So, as you are aware, the lockdowns in the UK are going to be eased over the next few weeks or so, as long as the numbers, you know, keep doing what they're doing and hitting in a somewhat downward trajectory. So a lot of event companies and festivals and nightclubs are deciding to announce some of their lineups coming up for the up and coming months. And one of those places, a kind of, you know, staple of the UK festival season is wireless. They've announced their lineup and yeah man it's a bit underwhelming it's much of the same in terms of some of the headliners future skepta amigos you know we've seen a combination of those guys on some of the last few years lineups of wireless in some extent i'd imagine and then the rest of the lineups is just a little bit one-toned it feels like if it's not uk rap and if it's not stuff from the states it's not anything else out there if it was like on the list that's really going to get people's heart pumping and that's really a good reflection of the music and the rich variety that we have here in the UK and it's really disappointing because I think there is room for a, sh a festival to start in the UK similar to what they do in Rolling Loud in the States where it's specifically tailored or marketed towards kids who are really into their hip-hop right whether it's SoundCloud or whatever it may be or alternative sort of stuff it's really no not alternative more so it's really point you towards a certain sort of aesthetic of rappers that appear on that sort of stage right that's what you'd imagine it to be that's why you know when you see rick ross in a rolling loud um concert um sorry lineup you can you know scratch your head a little bit because it doesn't really fit you'd think in the overall sound or what they're trying to do but you know i'm sure him being the amazing rapper he is he'll make it work so if there's space for a rolling loud for in the uk to exist you would imagine that some of these other festivals that cater to the quote-unquote urban market will try and really make their lineups a little bit more interesting, right, overall, and just have it reflect the rich um, dearth of kind of artists that we have here in the UK. And forget even the gender thing, because obviously that's the obvious thing to point out. There's about four to three women, I think, on the entire lineup, and one of the women is a DJ in that Tiffany Colvo girl. So there's not a lot of kind of representation in that regard, but forget that gendered thing and just think of in general, the amount of great artists that should be given an opportunity to play on these big stages, on these big days, alongside these really big artists in order to kind of cultivate and build their career. Because that's the thing you hear a lot about these promoters and event bookers. Oh, we can't book X, Y, and Z who's not that well known because he's not gonna, he or she's not going to sell tickets, which is understandable. Cool. You've got a business to run. But the only person that, the only way that person is ever going to get to a place where they can sell some tickets is if you allow them the chance to play on certain stages and play in certain clubs if they don't have the opportunity they're never going to get there and that's the only really concerning bit when it comes to these sort of things and these lineups it feels like no one's willing to really take the chance or no one's willing to actually enact change everyone's just talking the big game you know, hiding behind social media handles and whatnot. But when it comes to actually putting that stuff into action and making sure we secure and uplift the future, you know, of the music industry here in the UK, it doesn't. It kind of falls on deaf ears. And it's a shame, really, when you think about the diverse history and the previous lineups of wireless, right? I don't know what year this is precisely from, but check this out, right? This lineup um, from wireless says... The headliner on the Friday was Jake, supported by ASAP Rocky, Major Laser, Labyrinth, Nero, Duke Dumont, Party Next Door, Joey Badass, Fuso DG, Krepton Conan, Alev McConan, G Easy, Little Sims, OCD, Moss and Tef. Saturday was Avicii, Kendrick Lamar, Mary J. Blige, Knife Party Charles, Gambino, Gorgon City, Nitsky. And then Sunday to cap it off, right, as a kind of real party theme, David Guetta, Nicky J, I'm sorry, David Guetta, Nicky Minaj, Nicky J, Jesse J, Clean Bandit, Stormé, like a really uh, August Alcina played Red Freak 2 Race Murder Pusha T an insanely insanely great lineup and also something for everybody in those kind of lineups now I wonder is it is it just a thing of me being naive and not understanding that most of these festival lineups are essentially pay for play where you know you can basically get whoever you want if you're a record label or you can get one of your artists who's maybe the first priority in terms of marketing initiatives to go and play certain festivals and get you know their face around town or whatnot and um that might be the the deal a lot of these slots slots slot spots a lot of these slots might just be already taken up by record labels and then whatever is free you know is 
everyone else kind of fights for the scraps which is concerning too like i said because you really do hamper the future of the scene by not allowing these kids or people coming up in general who don't have much of a name for themselves to get an opportunity to play on these big stages and maybe carve out a little lane for themselves isn't it that's the one concerning bit and of course social media wasn't happy with the lineup um the lack of representation was a big deal i've got a couple of tweets here so um this is a funny one women on this year's wireless festival um then you've got what i've already indulged tiffany culver darko and megan the stallion insane right um it continues and then we've got Juliana Nuga, the sister of Jamie and Skepta, saying the following about the whole wireless lineup. If someone gave me the money, I swear I'd have the sickest festival in the UK. She says I'd do it with no signal, grime, GRM and DLT. And there would be a don't at me stage too. I'd have the greatest DJ lineup. Uh, me and Whitney Boateng would book the artist and I'd get Tom Mauchi. Who pronounced his name? Is it Muchi? Muchi and Dam Shank to be the official movement dance consultants. She continues to say, just so we're super clear, Skepta is one of the greatest UK artists of all time. Anyone tried to diss him as a festival headliner can hold several shows and their mum, of course. Support your siblings, support your siblings. But yeah, definitely um, some interesting perspective there from Julia Danuga. If she has the funds and the availability and the contacts, she should probably try and do it herself. I'm sure it's a lot difficult, a lot more difficult than probably people imagine to throw a festival of the scale of a, you know, a rolling loud or a wireless and have it be successful. It's probably very hard to do, but part of the reason why it would maybe work for somebody like a julie who's kind of talking about it is she's got the access right she's got all the numbers all the contacts of people who she can maybe call in some favors get people to play for free and that might help to boost the overall profile what they're trying to do but um a lot of people have a lot of things to say about these lineups every time they come up and no one does anything about them i wonder why there must be something that's holding a lot of people back especially some of the bigger promoters who are doing stuff with afro nation abroad why is why isn't there something similar to that happening in the uk on the on a kind of yearly basis same with carnival there has to be man because i don't know that one that's that wireless lineup was insane that's what it was insane 